I had surgery um, about two or three years ago and after that surgery I started getting a lot of muscle twitching, a lot of muscle weakness, uh, chronic fatigue when I say it was debilitating, uh, not getting out of bed, um, not being able to do your, your work correctly, not being there for your family correctly. I think they had just a variety of just exhaustion symptoms that uh, no one had answers for. I went through multiple, multiple uh, doctors and specialists and they could not figure it out um, for, for a long, long time. I think I got diagnosed with mythemia gravis, uh, different autoimmune issues, thyroid disorders, um, to name a few. I was at my wit's end because I was keep on going to these doctors and going to many doctors. Um, and I remember coming here and uh, I figured why not give it a go. I had, at that point I had nothing to lose. He understood everything. Uh, he was way more knowledgeable and I've been around some very small, smart, well-meaning physicians. Um, nothing like this before. <laughs> After um, uh, you know, seeing doctors that give you five minutes and no explanation, um, I set, spent an hour with Dr. Osborne. Uh, felt very, very comfortable that we had a game plan. So we had multiple testing done, uh, vitamin deficiencies, um, heavy metal deficiencies, um, just a variety of uh, testing that actually give you peace of mind. And I knew I was in a good place or starting point from that point that this guy knew what he was talking about. Uh, especially being around the, uh, I guess, regular medical community. So at that point, it was uh, a, a, a lot of hope and comfort, actually, just to just actually be around someone who actually understood what you were going through. Found out I was deficient in uh, multiple minerals, uh, vitamins, um, heavy in di different metals. Found out I had uh, mark-ons in my sinuses, yeast overgrowth uh, in my stomach, uh, met heavy metal toxicity, uh, multiple vitamin and mineral deficiencies. I think in the process of actually changing my diet and switching no grain, no dairy, no sugar, I would say within about three months I had some serious improvement. That like, you know, I've been with him a year now and um, I still have some personal work I need to do, um, which I know what that is. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge improvement. I just couldn't, couldn't, tell, couldn't say enough. Myself personally, I was on um, a variety of medications and I'm on zero now. I take some supplements. Um, and that's it. I was actually working with pharmacogenomics before, so I was kind of understanding. Um, I was always trying to get people at least reduced on medicine or off medicines they didn't need. Um, and hence, you know, I had no idea that you can come off all medication on the right diet. Um, and that in itself is, is, is a real, um, real blessing to a lot of people, I think, including myself. <laughs> I would say I'm 95% there. Uh, I know they want to say it's in remission, but it's, it's a cure is a cure but energy level is 90%. Um, symptomatically, it's, I'm pretty much, you know, 100% now. I can do things that I, you know, I couldn't do a year ago. I couldn't get out of bed, so, and, and now I, you know, I'm out and about working and do my every, everyday regular things. Eating no grain and no, no dairy, no sugar is actually easy for me now. I think the social aspect is, is, is a little bit more difficult, you know, around the holiday season. If I, if I did with it what the original doctors were doing before, I think I would have been on at least seven to ten medications, um, none the wiser, just health would have, I think, you know, it would have been a miserable ten or twenty years. The way I feel today is, is absolutely um, brilliant, to be honest, uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of hope, a lot of good things. I think I'll, I'll continue to get better the next year. I think I'll be back to 100%, 110% and better than before. I'll be back, uh, you know, working out and playing soccer maybe before you know it. <laughs>